a critical analysis of swimmer C's front crawl stroke. During this video, the BLAPT principles will be utilised throughout to analyse breathing, legs, arms, body position and timing. These elements will be discussed and compared to literature. The first element to be discussed will be swimmer C's breathing. Throughout the swimmer's performance, their body isn't positioned horizontally to the surface. Whilst analysing the swimmer underwater, when their head is submerged, there is a lack of exhalation, which can cause the body to drop. According to Councilman 1968, a lack of exhalation can interrupt a swimmer's body position, equating to a negative effect on the swimmer's buoyancy, technique and propulsion. The swimmer's head is looking slightly forwards rather than downwards. This causes the swimmer to bring their head out of the water looking and breathing forwards first, then breathing to one side after. According to Seafree, Scholler and Allard 2005, a longer inhalation process negatively affects the swimmer's streamline position, especially breathing in two directions. However, the swimmer's breathing is consistent and utilises a breath every three arm cycle. Swimmer sees legs. Although swimmer C has a continuous leg kick, the angle at her knee shows excessive knee flexion. Cowan 2002 states that kicking from your hips creates more power, propulsion and balance in the water. This insufficient kick doesn't allow the swimmer to create enough propulsion to stay on top of the water and in a streamlined position, therefore decreasing their speed and increasing eddy resistance. Plantar flexion at the feet should be present throughout the whole stroke with the swimmer's toes pointed. However, swimmer C's ankles are quite rigid, increasing the profile of the foot in the water and increasing drag and negative propulsion, according to Guzman, 2018. Swimmer C's arms. Analyzing swimmer C's arms laterally, her arm in the exit and recovery phase massively stray away from the midline, increasing frontal resistance. Colwyn, 2002, suggests that swimmers' arms should stay close to their swimmers' midline and their thumbs should zip up to their armpit, bending at the elbow and extending out of the water. In addition to this, swimmer C must keep her fingers together to create a bigger surface area to propel her through the water. These technical adjustments will help replicate the letter S in the pool phase, which can increase propulsion and buoyancy by creating a natural propulsive lift, ASAA, 2015. Swimmer C's body position. Swimmer C's body doesn't sit just under the waterline horizontally, which can be a result of her breathing as stated earlier. Due to the swimmer's head being too far out of the water, her hips and legs will drop interrupting the swimmer's streamline horizontal position, creating more eddy resistance. This is because your lower body tends to be heavier and drop first, and the deeper you emerge yourself in the water, the larger resistance, which affects your speed, Young 2013. Analyzing swimmer C's stroke front on, her arm never crosses her midline. This increases the efficiency of her stroke as Councilman and Councilman 1994 states that ensuring your arm does not cross the midline allows the body to not roll or sway excessively, reducing skin drag and resistive forces. Swimmer C's timing. The timings of both arms are sufficient. This creates a consistent windmill effect of power being generated, which Vizos, Gorgalis and Agolysis 2007 expresses that it causes greater propulsion. This is because when one arm is in the propulsive phase, the other is in the recovery phase, which balances out the stroke and helps keep the swimmer in a stable, streamlined position. Car 2004. Swimmer C's legs are also sufficiently in time with one another, which also helps increase her speed through the water and can contribute to keeping her body buoyant and close to the surface. Also, the swimmer adopts a bilateral breathing sequence of three arm cycles to one breath. Breathing bilaterally in time with your arms prevents instability and excessive rolling in the swimmer's body. This is the end of Swimmer C's analysis. All areas of improvement outlined in this analysis can be corrected through progressive practice stated in the written performance analysis supplementing this video. Thank you for watching.